first night we went up there and nothing was happening so we kind of just went up there fresh and the crowd really wasn't expecting anything so that was no big deal and um, we didn't have to follow something but the, f the second night we went there the house band had already been playing and they had gotten the crowd like really riled up but, and everything and going up there that was a bit more scary because we still didn't have a solid plan but we're just we we're like okay yeah we'll, we'll just figure it out when we get up there and luckily when we did get on stage, we did Hoel's original song, uh, Latin Freedom Song, which is just a real crowd pleaser. So at that moment, when I knew we were playing that one, I knew it was going to be all right. But going up there, we just didn't even know until the very last second what we were going to do. So that was just, that was a bit, uh, I was a bit nervous. Not that I was going to do bad, but I was going to disappoint the crowd in a sense of like, like give, they had something really exciting and then they had just like a mellow set, so. When we were at uh, when we were at Hard Rock Cafe, um, and our uh, Hoel and Joaquin were going up to play, I uh, decided to do their sound because that's what I usually do for them. Um, and so uh, I walk up to the manager and uh, I ask him where the sound console is. And so he shows me the sound console, and and I see that it's the exact same sound console as Lifehouse has. And I'm like. Wow, what's the odds of that that they have the the same the same console because it's not exactly the most popular console in the world. And so uh, they start playing, and um, uh, there's some things that I needed that needed to be changed on the console to make them sound a little better. So I, I asked the manager. I said, "Hey, can I make some adjustments on here?" And he said, "Yeah." Um, so I made a, a few adjustments, and he walked out, and he came back in, and he said, "Wow, that sounds so much better." Uh, he asked me uh, what we were doing here, and I told him. And uh, um, he then said that um, it's really crazy that we just showed up because he said that he put an ad in Craigslist um, asking if um, there were any sound people in around Angkor that could come in and help him out with sound at Hard Rock because they were having some issues. And um, they were going to. Uh, or he was going to hire someone to come and fly out to Cambodia and fix their issues with sound and, and teach them how to run some sound stuff. And, and I was blown away. I was like, Chris, that's the guy's name. I said, Chris, that's exactly what I do. That we, we go to other churches and we help them out with their sound. And, um, and I was like, Chris, I can help you out. And he was blown away too. I was like, this is, this is insane. There was a lot going on that night. Um, there was a house band there. We were waiting for them to take a break, uh, talk to the manager. He said, why don't you go up there and jam with the band? I really felt we weren't supposed to do that. Um, we waited till they took a break, and I was concerned just because uh, there's a house band. It's their instruments. It's their turf. I didn't know what was going on, and, and I just walked up there. Joaquin picked up the bass guitar. I picked up the guitar. and. I said, one of two things is gonna happen. The lead guitar player is gonna be really upset that I grab his stuff and shoo me off stage, or he's gonna be incredibly helpful. He didn't know what I was doing, who I was. He immediately sets up his stuff for me, gives me his guitar, sets me up. Somehow we get a microphone set up. We tell the drummer not to leave because we don't have a drummer with us. I, I, Joaquin started the, the song, and he, I told him what song to do, but uh, he just started it kind of without us. The drummer joined him. I didn't even have my stuff ready, and the music starts. And I can't really do that song without Haley. She had no idea. I called her up from the audience, and then we just went for it, and we had a blast. We just played one song, lasted about five, six minutes, but it was a it was a great time. We did a Latin Freedom song, which is a, a song I wrote this year, and uh, we've been doing it all year, and it's just. It's just a song of, of freedom and of healing and of presence. And it's got a cool uh, little Santana-y kind of vibe to it, uh, very Latin like me. So it was just so awesome to do that uh, in Southeast Asia. I, I knew I would do it someday, but I didn't, I didn't know I, was, I would be given the opportunity this time. Mm -hmm. 